Hey Resonator, so in this video today, I will be showcasing one of my newest resin bowls. So for this bowl, I'm gonna be using all Let's Resin products. So I'm using their Crystal Clear Epoxy Resin and then their Vibrant Neon Pigments. So make sure you watch to the end of the video and I will show you the final results and I want you to let me know what you think. Also, I will be reading to you guys one of the most annoying Am I the A-hole stories you'll ever hear. So this one is called, Am I the A-hole for excluding my neighbor from stuff and hurting her feelings? So grab a snack, sit back and relax and you be the judge. Is this person the A-hole or not? Last month, my old neighbors moved out and some new ones moved in. A couple in their late 20s with four small children. The wife is a stay at home mom and the husband is a trucker. I went to introduce myself and bring them a pie right after they moved in. I didn't really like their vibe, but I'm a friendly person, so I tried inviting the wife to things. Our neighborhood is small, a collection of 10 houses. Everyone knows everyone and is generally pretty friendly. No one else has young kids though. It's mostly couples with no kids or older couples whose kids moved out. I hang out with two of my female neighbors who are close to my age, mid 20s. We go on walks, have lunch at each other's houses, etc. I only work three days a week, so I have a lot of free time. I invited the new neighbor Molly to two different things, lunch at my house and also a walk slash hike with me and the others. Both times, she just assumed she could bring her kids and showed up to my house with them. I turned her away from lunch at my house because I don't want four rowdy kids under the age of six in my not childproof house. She was upset because she says that no one can ever watch them and she can't come without them. She did bring them on the walk with us, but we couldn't go into the forest because of her stroller, so it kind of ruined things for everybody. There's no trees or shade in the neighborhood, and the summer heat makes it awful. The forest is so much better. Since then, I've been avoiding Molly like the plague. I just don't want to be her friend. She's invited me over and asked to come over and bring her kids. She even asked me to watch her kids the other day so that she could have a break. I barely know the woman and I feel like her behavior is pretty inappropriate and she's maybe just not picking up on social cues. Today, me and my other neighbors went for a walk in the forest and she saw us go. She texted me to ask why she wasn't invited. I said it's because we don't want our plans to be altered by her kids. And she's already expressed that she can't do anything without her kids. She went on a rant about how it takes a village and we don't understand what it's like and she called us all a-holes. I agree with her that I don't know what it's like because I personally would never choose to have four kids with an absent husband. I just feel like she's being unreasonable to expect us to have a bad time just so that she can have a good time. Her kids were super annoying and hard to deal with. My husband thinks she's an a-hole but my mom thinks I should be more sympathetic. So am I the a-hole for not wanting to be friends with my neighbor? <sighs> this is one of those stories where everyone kind of sucks. And here's why. For one, OP, I'm not gonna say she's the biggest a-hole because I definitely understand her concerns about not wanting to deal with somebody else's kids. I mean, I know before I had kids, I really didn't hang out with people who had kids a whole lot because we just didn't relate that much. So I honestly just can't blame her for not wanting to hang around four rowdy kids because it can get really chaotic with kids. But on the other hand, when she invited a stay-at-home mom with four kids to lunch and to a walk around the neighborhood, I mean, honestly, where does she think the kids were gonna be? But at least she tried to make friends with the lady, so I can't be too hard on her. So I guess I gotta give her like a two or three out of 10 on the a-hole scale. Now for the mother, I feel for her because I understand how it feels to be stuck in your house all the time. I'm sure she was super excited to make some new friends and get out of the house. But any mother knows that if you're gonna bring your kids somewhere that you're invited to, you should always mention it to the host, especially if they don't have kids themselves. I know that if one of my childless friends invited me to an event, I would ask if it was okay if I brought my kids or at least find a babysitter or something. So this mom gets a seven out of 10 a-hole rating for me. And that's only because how she handled the situation afterward. When she saw them going on a hike without her, she should have just got the memo and just moved on and found some new friends. I know that's what I would have done because I'm not gonna force anybody to hang out with me. So you let me know in the comments what a-hole rating you would give these ladies. All right guys, so here are the final results of the rainbow bowl that I made using Let's Resin products. So for this one, I used their crystal clear epoxy resin and then their neon powders. And I made this gorgeous tie-dye effect bowl. So you guys have to let me know what you think about the final results of this bowl. Also, let me know what colors you wanna see me use next. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and as usual, stay kind, stay amazing, and keep on resonating. Peace.